Parkinson's disease is actually the second most common neurodegenerative illness after Alzheimer's. Most patients uh, complain of motor symptoms such as slowness of movement, tremor, and uh, rigidity of their joints. Um, some other common symptoms also include poor balance, um, depression, um, dementia. Our current standard medications are unable to address some of the symptoms, for example, poor balance, uh, impaired postural control, as well as a cognitive decline. Uh, we would like to find out whether um, a new form of uh, variable technology that uh, we've been working on is able to uh, improve some of the symptoms of Parkinson's that uh, conventional form of therapies fail to address. Um, for example, improving balance, reducing the risk of falling, and also um, addressing the problem of cognitive decline. So the iPod has a specially built-in motion sensor. Uh, it comes with a, a trademark application called Gate Reminder. And we'll strap it to the patient's knee. Um, and when patients walk, uh, music will be turned on when they walk above a certain threshold of step size. But when they start reverting back to walking so with smaller step size, then the music will be cut off. So this serves as a reminder, a positive cue to reward patients and encourage them to continue taking bigger strides. Uh, this not just promote um, increased elevated heart rate, it's a form of uh, aerobics exercise, but we are hoping it's also a kind of conditioning intervention to uh, promote behavioral changes. Um, we'll use a special uh, MRI sequence and functional MRI technology to um, track uh, changes in brain activation patterns across time. Um, this will allow us to determine how different brain regions actually communicate with each other. And, um, and this actually has been shown to be abnormal in Parkinson's patients. And our hope is that we are able to detect that with this form of intervention, we are able to restore what appears to be abnormal brain activation pattern in Parkinson's patients to resemble more of the pattern that we see in healthy subjects. This particular form of intervention um, has not been tested on animals and will not require testing on animals. By supporting this type of uh, research and development of uh, variable technology, um, I feel it's actually shifting the focus away from uh, development of conventional therapeutic uh, alternative that will inevitably involve sacrifice of animals.